Well, on tech today, you often see all sorts of robots and gadgets and devices and EVs. And then, on other days, I'm in the middle of Massachusetts here at the Amazon Robotics headquarters. And I wander around aimlessly geeking it out and telling you all sorts of stories. But now, I met an old friend <laughs> to walk me through it. Hi, Brady. Hi, it's good to see you. Good to see Welcome you. Welcome to Amazon Robotics, the hub of the robotics universe. Thank right you. Here. Thank you for welcoming us of to course. your lovely geeky home. Yeah, this is our home. What are we doing at this facility and what's happening? I mean, the vibe is really cool. I realize a lot of people are on their devices. There's robots and autonomous things robots moving everywhere. all over. This is the dream job you have. I love what I do every day. I get to work with incredible people every day, reimagining the future of fulfillment, uh, thinking about new robotic systems on how we can extend human capability, make the jobs easier for our employees, make it safer for our employees and uh, we're just starting out. Now, when we're talking about all of this, I see engineers sitting in the corner and yeah. sometimes just making sure that everything, nothing is amiss. Where does the human intervention happen? Is this entirely automated? So this particular process that you see here is entirely automated where we're, we're taking the packages and placing them uh, onto the drives. We like that, right? Because what we, what we want to do is we want to avoid our uh, our employees from lifting heavy packages. Right. Like, I want to take the repetitive motions out I want to eliminate the, the lifting of anything uh, heavy. I want to take the, the, the mundane out. So if I can elevate those tasks to a higher order focus right. for our employees, right. that allows us to be more productive. So uh, I wouldn't want, you could manually place this onto right. the drive unit, right. but now we have a, a, a robotic unit to, to do this. And that helps with our overall uh, productivity, right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a quick pause and rewind to Ty's conversation with me in Vegas at Remars a few months ago. And that brought us this micro viral moment on this show. Let's play that out for you. <laughs> you know, when we talk about automation, the world seems to be divided into two parts. A lot of people back home and a lot of academia and academicians also say that automation is going to make, well, the world a tougher place when it comes to jobs, a lot of people will lose jobs when we're talking about robots becoming a lot more ubiquitous and a lot more adoption in that space. And then the other side talks about how this can really augment uh, what already exists. Where does Ty Brady stand on either end of that I argument? I stand with our data. And our data shows that we've added more than 520,000 drive units to our fulfillment centers. And in that period, we've created more than a million new jobs, right? So the more robots, more jobs. Now, robotics has to be done right. It has to be done in a way that enables uh, human capability, that extends human reach. And this is where we focus on making our robotics easy, easier and safer uh, for our employees to use. And when done right, that else actually helps uh, create jobs. And that's what we've seen inside of Amazon. But it has to be done right. It's not a humans versus machine type of relationship, hardly. The way that we frame our relationship with machines is it's humans and machines working together yeah. to create a symphony of amazing work to be done, right? So humans and machines working together in order to achieve the task that's ahead of you in a very natural way. Right, so our engineers, our scientists, and they are incredible. And I am blessed to be able to work with just some of the smartest people that I've ever worked with in my entire life. They've really have helped solve this really hard problem of how can we add to the tool set of our employees and so that makes it easier and safer for them to do their job. There you go, we played out the clip. Yeah where everyone was as divided with your verdict on what does automation mean, right? Does it mean that we can augment a lot of jobs here in Massachusetts, maybe in Mumbai, maybe in Bangalore? Globally. Globally, or does it mean that, hey, a lot of people will be out of employment? It is our philosophy is we want to extend human capability, allow people to do more things, allow them to do them more simply, uh, more safely and more productively, right? We want to arm them with a tool set to use any way they seem uh, possible. And if we rightly and smartly build our machines to augment and extend human capability, that allows us to be more productive. I'm going to show you, let me show you a, a very direct example of that. This is uh, a, a good example of 
It's the majority of our fulfillment today where we have drive units carrying these pods. We're the world's first goods to person fulfillment system. Right. So what I mean by that is instead of taking a cart and going down long aisles and taking each of the objects and place them into a cart and then bringing it back to pack right. it up. Instead, we turn that on its head. And what we're doing is that we are uh, bringing the goods to a, an employee in order to pick or stow those items, right? So you don't have to walk as far and we can bring the right good at just at the right time in order to get that order fulfilled. So uh, here you see a station uh, where we have our associates actually do the picking or the stowing. I think it's a great example of how you can smartly bring technology in order to make the job better and easier. Ty, it's always a pleasure to always have you a on pleasure tech to today. See you too. Thank you for welcoming us to this brilliant home of yours here in Boston. We hope the next time we have this conversation, you're with us in Mumbai at the Tech that Today studio awesome. and we'll geek it out out there as well. Great to see you. Great to Appreciate see you as it. always. Thank you so much.